Howdy everybody. If you watch the videos on the fans, I made the frames and stuff like that. I mounted it in the front. Well, that ended up being a epic failure. Reason being is front fender looked like it had clearance, but I forgot about when you sat on the bike and going down the road and what happens to the wheel and fender as you go down the road. It actually gets closer and further away from the fen uh, frame, obviously. So, not a good spot for it. I actually caused a little bit of damage to the fender because I totally spaced out how much front clearance I was going to need on the fender itself. So luckily I caught in time before I uh, caused too much damage. And what I've done is, so far, I've taken the frame and I've made it into two frames. So what I'm thinking I'm going to do is figure out a way to mount it on the side with a horn in. Let's go to work and uh, work on some of the brackets and stuff. So now you get an idea of what I'm doing here. Fan is going to have this mount or bracket that goes across, a horn mount, a horn goes over that, and then the fans are going to be on the side of the engine, one here and one here. This one's already all done. I'm just going to match this up, see where it fits best, and then we're going to weld it. Sand it all down, get it nice and smooth, get it ready for paint. Alright, that's all for today. I'll be back tomorrow and uh, I'll paint the frame, uh, give it about three coats of black. <clears throat> Alright, here's the fans, or oh, the new design, I should say. Just to make it clear what I did here, this was the original piece, all right, the original frame that was together. So what I did was I just cut it in half and it made these two pieces. As you can see from underneath, there's nothing on the bottom as far as the frame goes, all right? So it's just three sides. And then I made this top bracket to go where the horn is. And then the horn will go over this and it'll sit right here in the middle. And all the wire will be behind the horn. So you got the top bracket and it's just pretty much just welded into the frame itself. It's pretty well balanced as you can see. So I'm happy with the, the whole setup the way it is. And I think we're going to get a lot better uh, airflow through the engine cylinders or the heads. And it's going to cool it down. On here I put the screens underneath the frame. It gives it a better look. And it's all painted up. All right, so uh, now we're gonna go ahead and uh, get that mounted on the engine and maybe test it out. Take the horn off, and behind the horn, I already have the wiring, all right? So the ground wire is gonna run off the horn, and then this is the power wire coming from the uh, accessory switch. The idea is to put the fans in like this. A little bit of Loctite on these threads. Man, let's see what this is. So everything's hooked up. 
I gotta put these wires behind, back over here. Nice. I just hope this rubber mount actually holds on to this really well. I'm afraid with the extra, you know, the added weight, it might be too much for this mount. I don't know. I'm going to find out. All right, so that's in. Let's go test these bad boys out. First, I got to see if they even work. Let's turn them on. All right. So the fans are in. I think it looks really nice, to tell you the truth. So I got one probe behind the front cylinder and one probe behind the back cylinder, all right? So right now I've got a temperature of 63 degrees. I don't know if you can see that, but that's where it is. I'm gonna pull the bike out and we're gonna run it and see what happens. All right, she's been running for about 10 minutes and these are the temps that I, I'm getting. About 170 in the front, about 230 in the rear cylinder. And it's still going up, 180 in the front, 241 in the rear. The rear staying steady at like 239, 240. Depends on if there's a breeze or not. So that's where she's staying right now. I'm not, I don't want to overheat the engine. So I'll go ahead and kick the fans on. Hey, right, fans are on. Sucking in, blowing out. They don't look too bad, do they? Looks pretty good, actually. All right, front cylinders. It looks like it's starting to drop, and so is the rear. It's been about 30 seconds. You can feel the heat coming off the side here. Just blown right out. Probably not going to be good for the right leg. Oh, yeah. The side design is so much more uh, efficient. Down to 125, 126, 215 in the rear. That's about it, she's stable right there. About 120 in the front, 203, 205 in the rear. That's where she's staying. With the fans on and the engine idling. Wow, it really works good, I am impressed. Well, there you have it. The new fan system. I think it came out really good. The fans sit back behind the horn a little bit, so it's not gonna get you know in the way of my uh, feet or anything like that. And I got the grills on there, so, man, I'm happy with that. I'm really happy with that. That looks professional. Like store-bought kind of shit, you know what I'm saying? As you already know, the front was an epic fail. It uh, scratched up the fender. I totally forgot about the clearance on the front fender. You know, I had enough clearance with it just sitting here on the ground and I totally spaced out the uh, clearance needed as you're going down the road and stuff with the passengers and stuff like that. But this, this came out really nice. And it's more efficient. Right, or oh, works better. Really lowers the heat on the engine, but uh, it, it, it kept it nice and steady, nice and cool. And it's warmer today. 63 degrees or whatever it was on the thermometer versus 45 the other day. And it was much more efficient. The only thing I'm concerned with is the right leg. It's gonna get a lot of heat hitting uh, the right leg. I'm only gonna use the fans if, I, if I'm in stop and go traffic like I was last year in New York City. Uh, and, the, and the bike overheated on me. So uh, I mean going down the road and stuff like that I won't need the fans to be on. All right, everybody take care subscribe share the videos Throw some likes up there and if you're new here and you're not a subscriber, please consider subscribing. Bye. Bye. Have an awesome day